Good morning, second graders. How you doing today? Today is Thursday, March 26th. Um, I have a twisting series for us this morning. We're gonna move our bodies and get some twists in. So we're actually gonna start at mountain pose on the top of your mat or anywhere. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand tall. Remember, lift up the tops of your feet, engage the tops of your thighs by squeezing them. That'll make your knees come up a little bit. Tuck your chin slightly, stand tall. Take a few breaths here as you feel yourself stacked from your heels, your knees, your hips, your shoulders, nice and tall. All right, we've almost made it through our second week of e-learning. So let's get some energy moving and get ready to go. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your fingers up high overhead, find that beach ball up overhead, meaning that your hands are turned together and you relax your shoulders down just a little. Instead of like this, you wanna just suck. Now we're gonna to twist to the right. So on an inhale, open up your hand, keep your hips forward and twist. Inhale back to center. We're gonna twist the opposite way. So try to line up your hands, open your shoulders, but keep your, keep your hips facing forward. Inhale, center, exhale, forward fold, dive all the way down. Bend your knees, keep them soft on this first one. Inhale, lifts you up halfway, hands to your shins, your thighs, or the floor. Exhale, plank pose, plant your palms, step your feet back. Find a nice strong plank here. Puff up the space between your shoulder blades. Send all, send your middle three fingers facing forward, how about that? You're gonna lower down to your belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, down dog. Curl your toes, push up to a plank. Make your way to downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze up towards your wrists. Exhale, halfway lift at the top of your space, I think. Fold, mountain rise strong. All right, we're gonna inhale, open arm twist again. Back to center, twist left, inhale center, exhale takes you all the way down. Inhale on your halfway lift, exhale plank pose. Inhale hinge forward, exhale lower down. Inhale baby cobra, exhale downward facing dog. Take that one more time, bend your knees, gaze forward, exhale travel upwards towards your hands. Inhale, lifts you up halfway, strong in your belly. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana, root down through your feet to rise. Exhale, twist open. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist the opposite way. Inhale, center, and exhale brings you all the way down. Now listen carefully, bring your two big toes together to touch. On an inhale, you're gonna get into chair pose. So your knees are knocked together. You should be able to wiggle your toes and see them. If you can't, see if you can bring your knees back just a little. If it's comfortable, you wanna bring your ears in line with your biceps, meaning the tops of your arms right here. And again, find that beach ball overhead. Your legs should shake and burn. Inhale, you're gonna twist open right, chair twist, inhale center. Exhale, twist left, inhale center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. We're gonna do one more set of chair twists. Let's bring some strength and heat into our legs. So inhale, open arm chair twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, open arm chair twist this way. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plank. Step it back. Let's push right back to down dog and take a breath there. Now inhale, float your right leg up nice and high, open up your hip. Put your knee up, not your heel. Drop down and push your knee up. Inhale, come back to center. Now you're gonna cross it, listen carefully. You're gonna take your right knee to your left elbow. So hinge forward. Inhale, back. Two more times. Cross your knee over towards your elbow. Inhale, 
exhale across, back to downward facing dog. That might be a little tricky, but I know you guys can do it. Inhale, your left heel kicks, open up. Back through center, exhale, opposite knee to opposite elbow, stay strong, push the ground away. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. One more, you can do it. Exhale, twist. Go ahead and take a breath in child's pose. horse for a second. So take your feet. Here my hips are, my, I'm in hips with distance, so my hips, feet are under my hips. I want to go wider. I'll just go about as wide as my yoga mat. Go into horse pose. So my toes are torn, turned out. I can't speak. And you sink low. Ideally, you still want the, your knee over your ankle. So find here. Sink low. Now let's take eagle arm. So take your right arm under your left arm. Go like this. We're gonna take some crunches. Let you're gonna bend in and lift up. Two, one more, three. Open up, star. Woo, my legs are burning. Exhale back down to horse. We'll take the other way. So your left arm's gonna come under, your right arm over. Inhale, reach your fingertips up high. Exhale, crunch them in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, horse crunch. Imagine a horse is crunching on some carrots. Inhale, lift, exhale, crunch. Inhale, star. Exhale, dive forward for a wide-legged forward fold. Whew. Shake it out if you need to. All right, drop down to your knees. We are going to lay on our bellies. Tee out your arms, you're gonna go like this, see how I'm in the shape of a T, but on your stomach. We're gonna open up our shoulders for Scorpion pose. So imagine your foot is the scorpion tail. So lay on your belly, make your arms into a T, kick up, which has one foot first, then you're gonna roll over the opposite shoulder. So since I'm kicking up my left, I'm gonna roll onto my right. If I kick up this one first, I go this way. So I'll kick up my right, take my same foot, same hand. I'm gonna help that open up my shoulder. Breathe here for a couple of breaths. Come back through center, switch out your hands. So kick up my opposite foot. Now my left hand comes up. I'm gonna open up this shoulder, breathe. And come back to center. I'm gonna make my way onto my back. Let's take Supta Baddha Konasana, which is a butterfly pose on your back. So lay down, bring the soles of your feet together. Allow your hips to open up. If it feels good, you can stay here and take it into a forward fold. Or you may roll down onto your back and just let your knees play up. Slowly extend your legs out. Find Shavasana. Your final resting pose, Shavasana. I hope you have a super duper day. Thank you for getting some energy moving. This is a great brain break one. If you ever want to, if you're getting tired and you have some work to do um, and you want to shake some sleep out, get moving. And as I always say, get moving and grooving. All right, friends, thank you for practicing with me. I hope you do this video today and maybe some other time. Talk soon. Have a super duper day.